Yes, I mix that legal lean with that I don't get tired And I call up Kevin Gates and a homie Mook Wow So fucking <laughs> awesome, baby You best believe we on that paper chase I thought that shit your favorite rapper been afraid to take You want answers? I think I'm entitled You want answers? I want the truth! You can't handle the truth! The truth. What's up, people? It's me, baby, the million mile man. Okay. We're going to have this conversation because I've been hearing a lot of things that are incorrect. Um, if you're a lease driver and something happens during the TNT training and the co-driver has an accident, I've been hearing people telling these co-drivers that they have to pay if they have an incident. An incident would be that they hit something or something got broken on the truck, which is totally 100% a lie. We all have to carry insurance and the deductible has to be paid by your trainer not by you as a TNT trainer or a trainer of any sort it is your responsibility if they are backing up until you know that they are 100% or close to it that you're not sitting in the jump seat or sleep because you cannot teach anybody from back there you can't show anybody anything from back there okay so if they have an incident behind the wheel backing up or any situation that's an incident it comes out the deductible that's on that trainer's insurance so if they tell you that you have to pay for it it's a lie now Moving on to the next situation that I've heard of, that there was a young lady that um, told their trainer that they were at 39000 and some change. Okay, I don't know the exact number, so I'm not going to try to lie and say I do. I don't know, it's 39000 And they got a load, and this person tells their trainer that after the, I mean, my bad, 29,000 and some change. Um, so she told them, told her trainer that if she were to drive after the 29,000 and some change that she had, which is the 30, she wanted to be paid extra. And from what I can tell, this, this young lady, uh, uh, the trainer of this young lady have been going above and beyond the, what I've heard from other uh, TNT um, students. This is distressing because I don't know if a TNT student understands that there are bills that have to be paid every week on this truck. Right? And when we get taxed, as a owner of a business that means that we were to put out any other money we was whoever doing our taxes whether it be advocates or whoever you have to you should report that money to them because if you don't then it's like you made the money and you didn't pay it out so it's, that means if the trainer pays you extra money, that means that they need the 1099 you on that extra money that they're giving you. So you'd have a W-2 and a 1099, right? So I don't understand for the life of me why you would think that you're owed extra money when that person is already taking on the responsibility of you being on that truck. Let's stop the nonsense, okay? 
you signed the contract with Prime, you should understand that that's what you signed it for. That amount that you're getting paid. Now, if that person decides out the goodness of their heart to kick you some extra money, that's out the goodness of their heart. That's not shouldn't be something that you expect because there's a lot of people, uh, uh, drivers that won't even take people on their truck for the same reason having to deal with the nonsense. Um. So. In closing, it's already at five minutes and some time. And I had a lot more to cover and I'll put that in another video. But please understand that these people that are training you. And just understand also that the people that are coming, meaning that your co-driver, is earning a certain amount of respect. Period. Period. And they're going above and beyond the call of duty. To put you on the truck with them and they're also let me not forget this okay so if the truck does six thousand dollar worth of revenue after they pay you they're down to five and some change gross revenue if they do seven they're, they're missing that money so it's not like prime is paying you that truck that entity or that driver is paying you if they are a lease driver. Please understand that. And I've had some get on and didn't even know that. Okay? So I'm just putting that out there. Not that I'm tripping off of it. I mean, I understand it's a business. But sometimes the truck does well and sometimes it doesn't. It's not that every week is the same. So remember that a TNT student is 1100 and some odd dollar bill every week because you are the, an employee of that LLC or of that driver right just as you want respect then you should respect your TNT trainer for going out and taking on the responsibility of you okay that's it I'll be back with another one please like subscribe and leave a comment because I really want you to understand what's going on here. You don't owe any money to nobody if that's their truck. They have a deductible on their insurance that they pay. And it is sickening to me to see a, 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 a trainer sit here and try to scarf money or get money out of a co-driver. I'm out. Peace.